whole crew of people who are feeling abandoned, mm-hmm. lonely in this. They have nobody to talk to about this because if you have questions about the church right. or about how all the Bible works or gender stuff, if you have questions, all of a sudden it's like, um, sorry about that. I think you're out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what's how? How do we see Jesus in the midst of these things? Hmm. How do we? What is this community that that God is really probably trying to build? This certain kind of community. I think I can only speak from my personal experience, and I would mm-hmm. say I definitely identify with the question askers and the seekers. And we're not in a church community right now, and I think that's for a lot of reasons. Um, and when you say church community, you mean an actual like institution? We're not, yeah, we're like not like you know members at a church, C3. right? Yeah. yeah, I would say we're definitely in a community. But yeah. you know, I think for myself when I think about some of the deconstruction and I know that's such a like hot topic word right now. Um, I don't even know if that's what I would call the space that I'm in, but our friends have called that like detangling. Yeah. It's like this, it's, it's who we are in our lives and God and all these things. And it's just gotten so tangled up. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. I I think that's, I think that's great. Definitely detangling some things. You know, I, I think for me, it all kind of hinges on like what's safe and Hmm. Jesus was, he had a tendency to speak against things that were unsafe, but he did it in a safe way. And I think the people of God and and what I see in the institutionalized church is, and maybe what some of the ick is for mm-hmm. people, because also we live in a really like unique community in Nashville yes. where a lot of people are artists at some level or, you know, musicians, songwriters, whatever, like, and it's a little bit like, I listened to a podcast on like the mafia and the NBA, you know, like yeah. people like, like <laughs> betting and like, like there is this kind of like people in bed together. You hear that uh-huh. kind of phrase of like, yeah. mm-hmm. there's this, like you scratch my back, I'll scratch your thing, you know? Yeah. And like, mm-hmm. I, I feel a little bit like the church has become that mm-hmm. with like, we're, we're building this system in this name of this community, as opposed to like, we just want to like love Jesus and follow Jesus. And even the churches that are like, we only teach Jesus. It's like, and the pastor's sleeping with other people, you know, like Mm -hmm. that's, Mm -hmm. and that doesn't mean like the whole church is sleeping Mm -hmm. with other people, but like you have the, you have the leader who, who's meant to be, you know, the one that uh, is setting the tone for things. And, um, and so I say all that to say, like, I, I do think there is a lot of people who, there are a lot of people who probably have been used by the church. Uh, a part of the church's agenda, whether the church meant to do it or not, or yeah. the, the leadership of the church, right? Yeah. Of like going, oh, we could, you know, we could have more gatherings if we just did X, Y, and Z, or if we had these people on stage, mm-hmm. or yeah. if we had those people as a part of the, the mission, or if we, you know, if like we just had this endorsement, you yeah. know, if this guy, if this guy came to our church, um, and I don't think it's like malicious, like I'm not sitting here, I don't, yeah. I'm not questioning yep. the motives yep. of people, but I think, I think we get into those, into those places. And like I said, like, if you're if you're invested in a church the way a lot of people I know are invested in church, it's actually like an addiction. It really mm-hmm. does become this thing that like you can't live without. Mm-hmm. And so when people are saying they're deconstructing, it's because like the church has become God. The church has become Jesus mm-hmm. as opposed to um, a, a part of, of Jesus and a part of their faith. It is their faith. And so I think what's most important uh, for me is uh, is a safe space to question. So if you're being threatened because of your questions, that's not safe. Um, I'll use this analogy and, and maybe this will be helpful, but uh, we moved to some land that had some like grapevines and blackberry plants yeah. and it's like amazing, but we were way in over our heads when we yeah. moved out there. Yeah, yeah. So we had some farmers come out and um, we said, will you teach us what we need to do to keep these plants healthy? And they said, well, your job is not going to be to like farm the plants. And I was like, I'm sorry, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she said, well, your, your job is actually to like farm the soil. And it's your job to create the healthy place that the plants grow. Mm. And if, and if the soil is healthy, the plant will be healthy. And then, and then there will be healthy fruit. If you're getting bad fruit or if the fruit's being eaten by pests or if the, you know, if the, the root is, is rotting, you have unhealthy soil. And so I think going back to Jesus's teaching, you will know something by its fruit. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that the plant doesn't fruit if it's unhealthy. It just means it's probably going to have less fruit or rotten fruit or the bugs are going to find it sooner. Yeah. So like I look at what the church, when I think about that analogy and I think about the church, I go, I think the church spends a lot of time 
dressing up the vine Mm -hmm. as opposed to paying attention to what it's rooted in. And if we build, if we create, and if we farm healthy soil, a healthy place for people, then the growth, like you can't take credit for it. You, it's it's like, it's window dressing at that point, right? Mm. As opposed to like making the main thing, the main thing. What mm. did Jesus say? What did he embody? What did he ask of us? What did he promise us? And how can we like, how can we make that the best soil possible for people to come root in and grow out of? And I just don't know if the church has gotten that right, you know, as a whole. 